Hello, Inform Crows. I'm John from the Haunt Informer, and today I'm going to tell you about Marvel new animatronics from Poison Props for 2023. So today I'm going to talk about Marvel new animatronics from Poison Props for 2023, and the first one I'm going to talk about is called Pulled Into a Wall, and just like the name implies, this is going to be an animation of someone that gets pulled into a wall, but I'm going to explain why that happens and what it can look like. So the picture that they have on the website and the video that they have shows this woman standing in front of a wall and they have it detailed out where it looks like there's like creepy vines going on and it looks very stranger things like and then the animatronic is set off and the character goes with the soundtrack and it sounds like she is screaming and calling out for help and like she's freaking out and then it pulls her into the wall so the body will go from standing like it normally does vertically and then gets pulled in and like sandwiched and pulled into this wall so it is a very neat effect definitely stranger things inspired and i really enjoy it i can't wait to see it on display and in use at the Transworld Haunt Show. I'm going to be at that show. I'm going to show you the entire Poison Props booth. And if you want to see my video from 2022, I'll have that linked in the corner. And thank you very much to everyone that did watch that video because that is amazing. So thank you very much for that support. And next up, I'm going to talk about Body Lifted and Contorted. Definitely another Stranger Things inspired animatronic for 2023. This is definitely inspired by how Vecna kills people in Stranger Things Season 4. So this starts out as an animatronic of a woman standing and then it gets lifted 12 feet into the air and by an unseen force from Stranger Things Season 4, it would be Vecna. This can be any sort of force you want it in your haunted house and this animatronic of this woman gets lifted up 12 feet and the arms will then break and then the legs will break and it goes with the soundtrack of her screaming and it's really wild and as soon as I saw that in Stranger Things happen the first kill that Vecna does I was like that's really crazy and would be perfect in a haunted house so I'm very happy that Poison Props came up with that and I can't wait to see how it's used because this could be a scare on its own because you see that and you're like, what's going on? And it lifts up and the arms break and people that know Strange Things be like, that's awesome. That's like Vecna. And then for people that don't know Strange Things, they just have just seen a woman go up 12 feet in the air and have her arms and legs broken for pretty much no reason. And you're like, why did that happen? So that could freak people out on its own. And then that would set up a really good scare where... You do have a Vecna-like character come out at you, or you have an entirely original character that you've come up with for your haunted attraction and is like the ghostly character or the main supernatural character for your haunted attraction. And it could be a silicone mask, latex mask, makeup, any of the options, completely custom costume. You could do all kinds of really awesome things with this. All the animatronics I'm talking about in this video will enhance your haunt attraction and will definitely add to your haunt attraction because they are really interesting and well done and they will be definitely fun for your customers. The next animatronic I'm talking about is called Hanging from Achilles and just like the name implies, this is going to be a character that looks like he's being hung by his Achilles tendons. So there are two hooks that are through his Achilles tendons and he's hanging from them and his head is hooded and he has his hands bound. And then once it's activated, it'll go with the soundtrack of the band yelling for help and he'll start shaking around. An idea I had for how to make this an effective scare with this animatronic is instead of having it be a distraction scare, where it sets up somebody else doing the scare, like the killer coming after you, I thought this would be great in a transition hallway for a haunted attraction, because many times in haunted attractions, you'll push past the prop body bags of prop bodies, dead bodies, or you just flat out push past the gory bodies, prop bodies of characters. So 
I thought it'd be really cool if you had mobile props hanging from the Achilles just like this prop and you had a whole bunch of them in a hallway right next to each other and you had to push past them and you wouldn't know which one was real and going into that hallway you wouldn't expect any of them to be real and you're pushing past it and all of a sudden you activate the one that's the animatronic and it starts shaking and screaming at you and it's really loud that would be a really awesome scare and I would love to see that at a haunted attraction and next up the last one I'm going to talk about in this video is called the Crypt Keeper and this is an animatronic where it has a talking skull. So they work with Fright Props. Fright Props is actually the one that owns Poison Props now. And they have talking skulls where it will be synced to the audio that you want for the character. So you can have this outside of your attraction or you can have it in the very first room and this character can tell you the rules, tell you the backstory and have really good quality synced audio with the mouth and it can look really nice and it has this little platform he has and he has this little podium and you can have that custom done with the name of your haunt if you wanted to, you could put that on there. So you could have a lot of fun with this. This animatronic could set up a character that you could potentially see throughout your haunted attraction. That is a Grim Reaper character wearing a robe. And they could be following you throughout the haunted attraction. So it could be like that Crypt Keeper is following you throughout the attraction. And ensuring that you are following along on your journey through this haunted house. And see what's going on with you. And he could be the one that gives you a false sense of security where he could even be making jokes with you and be like just messing with you and just seeing if you're okay he's like oh you're still alive oh you should have made it this far like I just have fun with you and just give you that false sense of security and make you laugh and have a good time and then you keep on going on and more crazy disturbing odd things start happening so I think that'd be a great time. So it'll be great if you could see this Grim Reaper character throughout the whole attraction. And at the very end, you could have that character be like, Wow, you made it. I didn't expect that to happen. I had so many ghouls and goblins in there. I conjured up all kinds of things and you made it out. Great job. And you could totally go with that. And that character could even then give somebody like a free sticker if they do a survey and say, What part was your favorite part of this attraction? what scene stood out to you, all those things, but totally in character. So it could be like, well, I, I definitely worked so hard. I'm making all these different crypts and all these crazy ghosts and goblins, conjuring them all up with black magic and all that interesting stuff. Tell me what part was the most interesting to you and like totally just make it with the character and make it a lot of fun. So there are so many potential possibilities for all these animatronics how to incorporate them into your haunt attraction. You can use them inside, you can use them outside on trails. You could even use these for home haunts or yard displays for your house for Halloween time and just make it ultra elaborate. You could do all kinds of great things with these animatronics and I can't wait to see them in person. And thank you for watching. That was the Haunt Informer. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I am on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links below. And tell me about which animatronic you like the most in this video. And as always, happy hauntings.